Hey guys, James Wilson Taylor here for Rock Sound. We are backstage at Download Festival 2022, and Will Gould joins me now. How are you, mate? I'm okay, mate. How are you? Not Download too bad. Download Festival, huh? Nice to be back in it. Nice to be back. Feels, did you see feels Kiss right. yesterday? I saw a bit of Kiss yesterday. I was still working for most of the day, but I did see a bit of it. What do you think? I wasn't here. I got here really late. Oh, okay. I, I, I've been asking everybody because my girlfriend was working doing the, the makeup oh. like in the little thing, doing everyone up like Kiss. That's awesome. And she said there was a zip line and there were statues. Yeah, oh, it was a big, big old spectacle, man. It was a nice one. No, very, very cool to see. It's got to be nice to be back though, hasn't it? I've been asking people as well, you know, like yourself who did the download pilot as well last year. It's kind of, it puts everything in perspective, doesn't it? That was a very, very unique event. But now to be back in the full thick of it, it just feels feels nice again, doesn't it? Oh yeah, it's, it's really cool. I think the, the, the pilot it was like a really unique moment in time, mm. I think, as well. Even outside of like the download brand, it yeah. was just like like for the UK, it felt like a really important moment for the alternative scene. Uh, but this is like back in full force now. The heavyweights are back, you know. Yeah. Um, and it, that's really really cool. It's it's weird to see so many friends around that I haven't seen for ages yeah. too. Kind of like last year a little bit, but yeah, little bit. now everyone's touring all at once, which is a nightmare because no one can get a tour bus for love nor money. <laughs> is that true? Is there a tour yeah, bus shortage that, going dude, on? Dude, I'm not even joking. It's true. That's amazing. Like, it's funny. Um, I my friend band, my friend plays in this band, um, Our Hollow Our Home. Oh, they're yeah, like yeah. a metal band from Stanton, and he just did some shows with A Day to Remember, and he said they're all in vans because they can't get a bus. Oh my God, that's like, man, man. We should have really like everyone should have got together in kind of some sort of big round table meeting and decided to space out touring. Or hear me out, one giant bus. I'm just one saying, giant bus. like a big like you know several decker going up. Just Can have you your imagine? Own little section. It'd be great. It'd big be like, sing along. It'd be fun. Like the bus on in the Spice Girls movie. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, as that's they go in, <laughs> Meatloaf could be driving it. Rest in peace. The Spice, the um, Spice yeah. bus. That's what we want. It's going to bring it back. Uh, well, you've been a very, very busy man recently. Um, let's talk about that. That small show you played the other day with these these American upstarts, who I'm sure will do very, very well. <laughs> They're called cool, My Chemical Romance. I mean, my God, that, that just must be a bucket list dream show for you, man. Oh, it's surreal. It's so, so, so cool. It was um, obviously like that was a massive influence on us growing up and in our band and our lives anyway. But to be asked to do that, we're actually flying out to do another show with them tomorrow Brilliant. in Berlin, doing a couple more in Bonn uh, as well. Uh, but it was just mad, so, so incredible. And I think it was like a really nice matching of the audience as well. Yeah, the audience kind of got the band straight away. Yeah. And uh, and that was really cool. It was like, oh shit, like we kind of found our people as well. Yeah. And we, we, we went out and watched My Chem in the crowd afterwards. Um, and we were just meeting all these lovely, uh, lovely people from Bologna um, who were just so, so sweet. And we're dancing and watching My Chem with them. Amazing. And it kind of, you know, we were talking about the, the thing last year, the pilot last year, that community spirit, kind of feels very similarly with My Chemical Romance. I, Finally I very much tour, agree, you know? yeah. Um, yeah. It's great for, the, for our little community, I think. An event we'll all remember for a very, very long time. Nice you get to be a part of it. And then again, just just running around a few arenas, just casually running around some arenas with a couple of absolute legends. Talk to me about that Alice Cooper tour, man. I mean, oh, absolutely insane. Oh, my God, yeah, that was crazy. Uh, it was so, so good. Um, it was odd. You know, I've never played an arena before where people have been sat down. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, so that was a new, new experience for me. I was like, how is this going to work? But it went great and like a lot of uh, the, the people that were there like kind of there were kids with their mums and dads mm -hmm. and it was like a family event and the production he had for it there was like a castle on stage there was a baby that broke out of a prison and there was like a like a giant there's loads of stuff and that's great it got all of our imaginations really going and yeah. alice was very nice to us his crew were lovely um the cult obviously were on yeah, it as yeah, well yeah. who were fantastic and watching watching them play i think you learn so much you Try and, in those situations, you, you, you do well to soak up as much as you can and Absolutely. learn as much as you can. So yeah, it was brilliant. Everyone was so nice to us. It was, we had some great catering as well. Oh, that's always about. Yeah, talk to me, talk to me. What's the highlight of the catering? Oh, I Come can't on. remember. But I had a, a, a vegan lasagna one day. Hello. Um, and I love that. Like, that was right. stuff like that. It was really, really good. I think loads of those bits. Um, just. That's always a dream, isn't it, to go on tour and being a chef with you? <laughs> <laughs> You've been spoiled for all the future tours I, I, I've now. I've become a, a bougie bitch these days. <laughs> you always were, darling. You always were. We all knew it secretly. Um, and all these live shows, of course, now finally actually getting to play more and more of these songs that we've all lived with for a while, but obviously didn't necessarily get the airing that you would have had because the world kind of changed. Uh, particularly the tracks off the EP now finally going to be like staples of the set, I guess. That's got to be really nice to actually get to see the reactions of the audience now. Oh, yeah. I mean, um, that was always the, the most heartbreaking thing about that whole situation yeah. for us um, with the band, in, in relation to the band, I mean, uh, was, this, was that like the album never got its day and we never got to do the shows we wanted to do with yeah, it. Uh, and now we're finally getting to do it. We, obviously, we, start, we did, completed the headline tour yeah. back in March, so there were some very special gigs. 
But like now, taking Midnight out, like that song, oh. and, and doing it in... Still my favorite, man. Oh, Love thank it. you very Love much. Uh, yeah, doing it in a festival setting, um, it's become like one of those tunes now. We were playing a show the other day, where were we, in Austria, and, um, and it, it, like, imagine if you'd never seen Cooper before, you never heard of us, um, and Hannah disappeared and did her parts, and they, they loved it, like it was... Yeah. Uh, so it's such a fun thing to do, and so we're so lucky to get to do that in general, and be back out doing it. And I think we appreciate it 10 times as much as we would have done before. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's a, it's a nice feeling. It's really, really cool. Absolutely. We should mention Double Duty today, of course, because Salem Show as <laughs> well. How's that been for you? I mean, that's kind of a new, interesting experience. It's like, right, let's double up on the festival shows. I don't know why I've done this to myself. <laughs> to I was going to say, that's a, a been, lot of pressure. It's been so manic. We flew in last night. Yeah. We're only here for a day, and then we, we leave at 1 a.m. today. So oh, my God. Berlin. A proper so, flying visit. Yeah, so I, I, I didn't even have time to rehearse. I didn't, well, I didn't even see that, the, the Salem guys until I literally walked on the stage. Brilliant. And we played, and the show was great. The kids were amazing and uh, lovely getting to... I never imagined that band to, to be doing anything like this, you know? It was really cool. So that was great. And, um, and yeah, but like, I, I don't know. I can't really tell you how it's going to be going forward to do uh, the, the, same, uh, the Creeper show yet because I haven't done it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I'm hoping it's going to be fine because... We've, uh, we've got to fly and then we've got to play another massive show tomorrow. So Man. we're very, very lucky at the moment. I, I, I would, we, after a series of really bad luck for us, it's, it's, uh, it's been a really, really cool experience of late. No, it's nice to see, man. Nice to see a big packed summer for you guys. I do want to mention before I let you go as well, the kind of Salem stuff, because it intrigues me now that I'm sure you must be thinking about what's next for Creeper. I don't know what kind of stage you're at that, with that yet, but I'm sure that, that must be kind of on your mind to an extent. And I wonder how the stuff you were working on with Salem impacts that. Has it got you kind of flexing different creative muscles in that way? Is it, have, you, is it, have you taken any influence from that, I suppose, in terms of what you want to do next with Creeper? Not really. I think the thing was, like, the, the Salem stuff was, was uh, it was kind of without a concept necessarily. It was uh, like, uh, there's a concept visually in terms of uh, how it was presented and kind of drawing a lot of 70s mm. punk stuff and, yeah. uh, and a lot of our, our old school kind of punk rock influences. But what we're doing with Creeper is, uh, we have a scope for a much more, um, a grander thing we're trying to do with it. Oh. So, um, yeah, like, we, they, they exist in very different bubbles, and, you know, you should never cross the streams. That's true. That's famously, what they say. famously, that is what they say. It's very, That's what very they true. do. Well, who are they? Oh, was it, was it, was it Ghost, that's Ghostbusters, That's right? Ghostbusters. That you Ghostbusters. say Lost Ghostbusters. That is, it's, the, it's the Lost Ghostbusters. It's the Lost Boys Ghostbusters crossover. I'm going full, I've been watching oh too much God, Stranger Things, be man. Show. Yeah, it would be a good one, wouldn't it? That, let's make that happen. Let's make <laughs> that happen. The power of these interviews will get done. Um, I don't know how much you can tell me, but the rest of the year, what are the kind of plans once you've got this massive stack of touring out of the way? Are we going back in the studio? What's going on? Well, what we're doing is we uh, we finish up here. We, we, we go back to tomorrow. We go to Berlin, my chemical romance again, and we do uh, some more. We do a couple of headliners out in, in Europe with uh, co-headlines with Trash Boat, uh, oh, which is cool. Um, we're doing a bunch of festivals out there as well. Um, rock, uh, rock for people out there. And we return. We do 2000 Trees. Um, oh, great Got stuff. a really, really special thing planned for 2000 Trees, which is great. Um, then we go to Australia with Enter Shikari. Man. Um, yeah, it's a non-stop. But there's a lot more That's surprises great. on the way for this year that I, haven't, I can't announce yet because... That's the way these things are. Because, <laughs> because I've been told I can't. Yes, because, exactly. yeah, legally I'm allowed to. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah, there's a lot of things going on. It's really exciting for us. So, um, And I obviously can't tell you anything about us recording or doing anything like that because I'm still under secrecy too. But, but you know, we liked the anticipation. We liked the suspense. One That's of these what days you're just going to get me, I think. One of these days I'm going to break you on camera. <laughs> it's going to happen. Um, glad the show went well. Have a great second show, man. And we'll catch up with you again soon, I'm sure. Well, thank you very much for having me. Love to you and all of Rock Sound. Oh, very sweet of you. Good to see you, man. <laughs> well, everybody.